Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan Dankoff. I'm the User Research Project Manager of Ubisoft Montreal. We're taking our playtests on the road right now. It's an alpha build, which means that there are going to be some bugs, maybe a crash, maybe some missing textures, but that's all part of the process and the way that we make the game, by bringing in fans to play it early, get their feedback, and deliver that to the designers to make the best possible Assassin's Creed. I love Assassin's Creed as a series. I've played every major console release. I've only played Black Flag. You're not doing me any favors if you tell me you loved everything. So we're looking really for your honest feedback as a player. There's progress. I mean, it's good progress. I did find that in the stealth section, I could screw up, I could, you know, be seen by a few guards, fight them, and it was nice to, like, not then alert every other guard. Yeah. The version of that tutorial that's in this one, I think, is a lot more subdued, where you can make a mistake and learn a little bit more. I, I don't think we're there yet. I think there's still some tweaking to be done. The new grapple zip line is, is awesome. It's a great way to get around the city fast. The one thing that I did notice is that if I saw a marker come up for shooting the zip line with L1, yeah. it would pop up very briefly and I would hit L1 but it would disappear and I wouldn't be able to do it unless I went back to the spot where it popped up. I'm gonna be able to do it in motion. I would love to be able to do it in motion. We can look into that. I really enjoyed the, uh, the carriage aspect. I like the fact that you guys are introducing new transportation methods other than just parkour and free running. There was a moment when there were two people in a carriage and I threw one guy out and I expected the other one to jump out because that's what you get in open world games generally. And he didn't, you know, he stayed in the carriage and he grabbed me and threw me out. So that was really cool. It felt better than Unity did. It felt very floaty in Unity. Okay. There was a lot of like, you would jump and you would go really far. But this game felt very grounded. So here we are, a month after the first playtest. We took the results of the first session, put them together, gave them to the team. There was a great velocity of fixes. We got to see some improvements based on the feedback that we already got to the chariot, to some of the stealth metrics, to a bunch of the other facets of the game that people gave us really interesting feedback on. We're testing it again now as part of the process to validate the things that we did change and to see if there's other stuff that we need to continue to work on. I really want to see like how combat and traversal is going to change a little bit to this game. I think it's amazing that Ubisoft is, you know, letting people come in and just the fans come in and just to test. You know, when I get the game in October, I'll be like, I, I helped this, I found something. Yeah, with the carriages, it did feel like pretty smooth. It wasn't like all over the place or anything. Um, I was able to turn That's awesome. pretty man maneuverable. There were some issues with the carriage that I think we tried to address, and I'm glad to hear that uh, you don't feel like it's all over the road or any of that. That's good. That's good news. Another smart gameplay mechanic is you brought back the enter button, just L1 to go into a window. As far as fan feedback goes, better window entry is the loudest and clearest. That's fixed, 100%. <laughs> it works. It's great. Fantastic. Yeah. The fact that it's the, the whistle's back, thank goodness for the whistle, I like the whistle. Yeah, we did that for you. Hand-to-hand <laughs> -hand combat seemed a little more aggressive. More like Black Flag, less like Unity, which I liked. Sometimes I'm not sure it knew whether I was going up, trying to go up or down and forced me to click it. So you're willing to trade like a little bit of the control for a little bit more automation? Exactly, yeah. Okay. Here we are at the end of the test. We got a ton of great feedback today from these gamers. It's been a year of playtesting Assassin's Creed Syndicate. We started last summer uh, iterating constantly with different versions. Playtesting is a huge part of the way we make games at Ubisoft. We'll do many iterations of testing throughout the process of making a game. So we take all of the feedback that the fans give and we synthesize it. We'll make that into a report or a presentation for the development team. And it helps them make intelligent decisions that will please the people that are playing the game.